Hi everyone, I'm Jamie and this is how to mod Stardew Valley. So the absolute first thing you want to do is to download Smappy, which is the mod loader for Stardew Valley. To do this, go to smappy.io and it will bring you to this page. You click here to download Smappy. I really hope it's pronounced Smappy. Once you've downloaded it and it's in your downloads file on your PC, right click on it and click extract here. This will then make a little folder for it here, which you click into, click into here and click on install on Windows and then simply follow these instructions to install Smappy. Once that's done, you're going to want to keep this page open. You then right click on the top here, go to edit and go to mark, and then copy this whole bit here from the quotation mark to the percentage sign at the end. Control C to copy that. Then you're going to want to open your Steam. You're going to want to go to Stardew Valley properties, and you're going to want to paste what you've just copied into this launch options box here. This basically allows you to still play with achievements and the Steam overlay while playing with mods. Once Smappy is installed, I would advise going to the mod compatibility on the Smappy page. Why I would go here and not one of the mod sites directly is because this will tell you when a mod is broken or not being updated or, you know, just not working anymore. So you can look down this whole list just to shop for general mods. Or you can use the search function up here to just search for the type of mod you want. So if you search UI, it'll bring up some UI mods. It's not the best search function, but it does limit the field of it. Another reason I'd advise coming to Smappy mod compatibility is UI Info Suite 2 is not on Nexus. You can, however, go to Nexus to see what you're getting with UI Info Suite. So, for example, if you open that in a new tab, you can see what kind of things you would get in UI Info Suite. So, display an icon that represents the current day's look, display experience point gains, dynamic experience bar that changes based on your current tool or location, display NPC locations on the map. It's just a great mod. It's just a great mod. While I'm here, I will quickly show you how to install Nexus mods because this is where you'll be getting the majority of your mods from. So first of all you'll want to make an account with Nexus because they don't let you download anything if you've not got an account. So make sure you've got a Nexus account. Then you find the mod that you want and click manual download. This is just the easiest way I've found to download stuff. So you click download on that. It'll take you to this page. You click slow download, you know, unless you're rich and want to pay for Nexus. Once that is in your folder here, you go to extract files and you'll commonly want to put it in your Steam, Steam app, common stardew valley slash mods then you just click ok to extract it there and your mod should work some mods will require other mods to work all mods require smappy but you will be told when you hit manual download which additional files you need another really common one to need is content patcher and for ui info suite 2 and any mod that doesn't use nexus you simply click on the link that it provides and you will be taken to a download page and this will download exactly the same as a nexus mod so you just click here it goes straight into your downloads folder, show in folder, and you simply extract it to the mod file. I like to keep my mod folder on quick access so I can easily go to it. And also, just in case anybody wants to know, these are all the mods that I have installed. There are some more complicated mods, for example, texture mods. They download a little bit differently, but they all have the install instructions on Nexus. For example, the natural color reshade that I use tells you in the information here to place the contents of naturalcolor.zip in the root of the game, not the mods folder. Folder. And basically what that means is it goes in here. It doesn't go in the mods folder, it goes in here. And there it is, there's the natural color launcher. So I would always check on any mod you want, scroll down and see if it has installation instructions. Most of the time it's what I showed you earlier, but sometimes they are different. But yeah, the modding community for this game is absolutely nuts. There are so many mods. If you have any questions about modding Stardew Valley, feel free to ask in the comments, or you can go to Stardew Valley Wiki, Modding, Player Guide, Getting Started. This is where I went to learn how to install mods, but I know people like a visual aid, which is why I wanted to make this video. And also a bunch of people on my stream have asked me to make this, because I know it's a bit of a weird game to mod. I also didn't want to put too much of an intro on this video, because I know how annoyed I get when I just want to figure out how to do something. Somebody's got like a four minute long intro, and I just want to know the information. Just give me the information. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. I know it's a bit of a weird one, but I just wanted to make a more chill video today because I completely exhausted myself on the other two videos this week. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope the world treats you well. I hope you will join my streams on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on twitch.tv slash Jamie is strange. Link tree is in the description. Take care. Love you all. See you in the next one. Bye bye.